Hi there, my name is Alan Lamont. I'm covering a period in history, which is after the Second World War. My last video covered the Third Reich and the Second World War. This period is 1945 to 1947 onwards. Here we have Papal Knight of Malta, Harold Macmillan, a previous Prime Minister of Great Britain who went to meet with Adolf Hitler, of course. And he made his infamous speech, Peace in Our Time, it was all staged. The fact is that he was working with Adolf Hitler. And for his obedience, uh, he had the blessing of Pope Paul. And he was a Jesuit of the short robe, Macmillan. You know, he was under the power of the Jesuit general. He was a low professed Jesuit. And he met with Pope Pius. Uh, and he had a long moving talk with him. And he was rewarded for obeying the Order's Wicked Council of Trent. You see, the British Crown was working with Adolf Hitler. Here we have another picture of uh, 33rd degree Freemason Winston Churchill. But Winston Churchill was also a member of the Order of the Garter. Because we must understand that it's not the Prime Ministers that have the power. They're subordinate to the monarchies. Okay? The monarchies uh, control the government it's the parliament of her majesty or his majesty you know that's the truth about the power structure of great britain but there's many levels to this power structure and uh, the real power behind the british government is actually the jesuits it's the high jesuit provincial in great britain that gives the orders to the monarchies and uh, all across the earth but winston churchill was a high 33rd degree freemason he was a member of the order of the garter and here we have a uh, fdr who also was a high-level Templar Mason, and Stalin, who also was trained by the Jesuits in Russia, and he worked with Hitler. And these are the most prominent Freemasons, really. The Big Three, that's what they're called. And this is a very, very well-known conference at Yalta, where these Freemasons sat down and really decided the fate of Germany, you know, to divide it east-west and also give Russia a lot of territory. And really, this was the beginning of the Cold War. That was the next agenda of the, the Jesuits, was to create the Cold War after Nazism. This is a worldwide crusade, you know. It's a continual crusade. It's ongoing. It never ends. The Nazis slaughtered millions of people, and then we also see... Stalin slaughtered a lot more than Hitler, you know, three times as many people in his uh, concentration camps. And they're all working together. All sides are controlled by the high Jesuit provincials that rule Britain, America and Russia. Of course, we have the crown, we have the United States of Europe and we have communism. Uh, communism is really a belief system based on the communes of the Jesuits in Paraguay, hundreds of years ago in Paraguay, they actually built communes in, you know, South America, and uh, that is where they perfected communism, and they just brought it into, you know, Russia, really. And so it's one continual inquisition, and here we also have a picture of, very revealing picture, we have Knight of Malta, Joe Kennedy, the father of John Fitzgerald Kennedy, who was a Knight of Columbus. Uh, Joe Kennedy, he was the one who, you know, was used by the Vatican to build up Hollywood. And he was connected to Al Capone. He was connected to the Irish Mafia, the New York Mafia Commission. And obviously he was a bootlegger. But more importantly, he was a high Knight of Malta who was instrumental in Wall Street and really in positioning FDR into the White House and you know when you look into Joe Kennedy people say that really you know he done a deal with the Mafia to position John Fitzgerald Kennedy into the White House that's not the truth that's not the truth <laughs> you know the Mafia doesn't have that power but Joe Kennedy was working for the Pope of Rome throughout his whole life, he was working for the Vatican, as was uh, John Fitzgerald Kennedy. The reason why Kennedy was killed, of course we know he 
defied Rome many many times uh, he wanted to stop the war in Vietnam and he called off the invasion obviously of Cuba but really the Vatican set him up with that operation because they never intended to remove Castro they really just wanted to remove the power of uh, you know Kennedy over the CIA because he fired Alan Dulles and he put Robert Kennedy into the CIA and Robert Kennedy was you know really driven to remove Castro and the Jesuits had no intention of removing Castro but the Jesuits of Rome they control every side again every side here we also have a picture of, and this is a very, very revealing picture, this one. We have President Roosevelt on the left there, and he's presidential limousine, with Cardinal Spellman, who is his master, you know, Archbishop of New York. And uh, then we have a Jesuit wearing his priest Beretta next to Cardinal Spellman. We have the power structure here revealed. And also, you will notice second bystander to the right there is another Jesuit priest with a very, uh, you know, arrogant, you know, grin on his face there, you know. But the Jesuits are here. Here you see this Jesuit next to Cardinal Spellman. So the Jesuit provincial from Fordham controls Cardinal Spellman. And Cardinal Spellman is in control of the President of the United States. Uh, I shared in my last video that this structure exists continually. It's in place, you know, it's established and this is the power structure it never changes ever you know uh, there's just so many areas you can go into you can talk about Israel today just let me move into current events things that are happening today in Israel I mean the Vatican created the Latin Kingdom of Jerusalem from its very foundation I know I'm moving on from that period in history but I just want to touch on this that Jerusalem really is very important to the Vatican because they plan to rebuild the third Hebrew temple uh, but also the Vatican has an alliance with Islam they're connected to Islam at the highest levels and the Dome of the Rock will be removed because King Abdullah II of Jordan today has the deeds to it and he recently went to see Joe Biden and they're going to remove the Dome of the Rock and build the third Hebrew temple and it'll be a Masonic temple most of the chief rabbis in Israel are under the power of the Jesuits of Rome. But you look at Shimon Peres, who is the president of Israel. He was educated by the Jesuits in Poland, and he went to the British crown. And there, of course, he was knighted into the order of St. George and St. Michael. And it's a global structure today. The Vatican really rules over its uh, international intelligence community and that is overseen by the white pope today the white pope really is the one that has control over all the politicians and those politicians are ruled by the cardinals the bishops of rome and that's the structure really it's the jesuits who have the power and america is really the military arm of the black pope every war there's always a reason for it, always. It's to bring every nation under the power of the Vatican. That's why they position their dictators and Jesuit trained puppets there, you know. And it's all a lie. Everything about Adolf Hitler was a lie. He never even wrote Mein Kampf that was written by the Jesuits of Rome. Everything's a lie. So I'm covering everything in this video, really. I mean, even the protocols of Zion, you know, they're all a lie. You know, everything's a lie. Communism itself is a lie. And we must remember also that uh, the Cold War really was built up for a reason. They built up communism for a reason, okay? And it was funded uh, by uh, the Vatican Knights of Wall Street. Now, when you look at the communism, as I've said, if you look at the Jesuit uh, reductions, the known as communes in uh, Paraguay, they're identical to the teachings of communism that's the truth and when you look into the nuclear war hoax the airborne nuclear war that was deception it was all deceit by the company of jesus by the campania the order of the society of jesus they create all of these wars and all of these black operations and uh, hiroshima was a lie that was not a nuclear bomb okay from the air 
that's the truth. And so, you know, you have to sometimes go to history to understand how the Jesuits operate because they never change the structure. They always have that same structure today. You have the Black Pope controlling all of the presidents and prime ministers, of course. They're under the control of monarchies and the Jesuit provincials control the monarchies. They control every nation, even the you know Muslim Brotherhood. They're high masons and they're Vatican Knights of Lazarus or Vatican Knights of uh, Malta. It's worldwide, you know. And you know, regarding this uh, Hiroshima blast, you know that was overseen by uh, the Black Pope, the Jesuit general at the time was Pedro Ruppi, and apparently he and a few companions decided to make their way to another Jesuit house in the middle of Hiroshima, and. Uh, you know, but that was not a nuclear explosion, okay? It wasn't an explosion, but it was not a nuclear bomb, you know, that brought destruction in Hiroshima. It was not an airborne attack, that's what I mean. But the Vatican is bringing mass destruction all over the earth, all the time, you know. And another reason why they worked through Adolf Hitler and through the Third Reich was to create the United Nations, to re remove all opposition to this United Europe because they tried through the League of Nations to fail so they really brought war through Germany also to destroy the birthplace of the Reformation and divide Germany into East and West and to really just have a stranglehold over that nation and to then create Germany to be you know the power over uh, Europe itself it's all building up to the rebuilt third temple people ask me all the time you know why would the Pope of Rome destroy the Vatican why would they do that in Revelation 17, if the Vatican is the seat of Antichrist, and if the Antichrist comes from Rome, why would the Pope of Rome destroy his own Vatican? Well, because he doesn't need it anymore. The Black Pope, the Jesuit general, they don't need the papacy. They don't need it because they're not Catholics. Understand that. They're Babylonian. They're the Brotherhood of Saturn, Saturnalia. They don't need the papacy. That's why you see all religions over the last like 50 years since the, well 60 years since the time of the Second Vatican Council. You see in Assisi all of these religions meet with John Paul II and Pope Benedict. You know because they don't need the Catholic Church. The only reason the Jesuits have used the Pope of Rome is because the Pope for hundreds of years had temporal political power over all the monarchies and all the governments. Just understand the more that you dig into this uh, anti-Vatican conspiracy. Honestly, everything's a lie, but everything's connected. It's all connected. Every war is connected. You have a continual war, open and secret, by the Society of Jesus. They create Nazism. They create fascism. They create social communism. They create all of these oppressive regimes, really, to continually bring inquisition and overthrow nations until ultimately all nations are under the power of the pope and this is what we have today with pope francis all governments are under his control they're all subordinate to him that's why we see them all go to st peter's in open subordination that's the truth every nation sends their ambassadors their heads of state their queens their kings their princes all to the vatican because the vatican has control and they will not defy the jesuits because if they do they will be assassinated that's the truth. They'll be given the poison cup, the leaden bullet, the strangulation cord. That's it. This is the New World Order. Do your own research. And there's many great websites online. Uh, let me mention a few of them. You have Craig Oxley's website called Unhive Mind. I really recommend Craig Oxley. He's been really, you know, pioneering and, you know, really breaking into the alternative media for years now with this information. You have Eric John Phelps. He has a book called Wounded the House of My Friends. His website is called VaticanAssassins.org. I really highly recommend Eric John Phelps, who has really pioneered the way also for uh, you know, thousands of people. And his book is the best, really. If you want true history and true revelation, then read his book. Uh, Wounded the House of My Friends. And the Vatican controls the New World Order. You know, when you look at what happened with Stalin and Churchill and FDR, you know, after the Second World War, you know, they met together, obviously, because it was all planned and staged. Hitler was still alive. He was in South America with Bormann, you know. And Hitler, as I've said, did not fail. 
He brought down Germany and created the United States of Europe. That was his purpose. And then, you know, they just came in and then created the United States of Europe. <laughs>